Welcome everyone, this is Franco. And I'm Nathan. I'm Johan. And today we're going to be talking about Civil War. Uh, there's going to be a full-on spoilers this time around. Uh, we did a non-spoiler uh, version at, in our description below. Um, and a, a brief synopsis on what the movie is about. Uh, Civil War is pretty much a result of what happened in the previous 12 movies. Uh, the government decides to intervene because of all of the collateral damage. Uh, they've come up with the Sokovia Accords. What that is, is it basically puts a leash on the Avengers. Uh, they're not allowed to act whenever they want to, it's whenever uh, the government decides they're allowed to. Um, which drives a wedge between uh, the team, uh, mainly Captain America and Iron Man, if you haven't seen the trailer already. Um, on one end you have Iron Man. Um, what I dug about this, or actually I was kind of weary about it, uh, when I saw the trailer was how they were going to justify Iron Man uh, being for the government. Um, in the previous movies, he wasn't. Uh, yeah, it is a little weird. Cause it, in his first, like the first Iron Man, he was very much, um, hey, I built this suit and you guys can go to hell. I'm yeah. going to do what I want to and I'm going to, um, especially like when he first, I think this, the first Iron Man scene is when he goes to intervene in 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 some sort of dispute that they were having somewhere else, right? So. And he and the and then the U.S. Air Force, roadies and everyone else got upset right. and like, hey, what's happening? Do you have any kind mm -hmm. of tech in the area? So yeah, and they even went as far that, that during one hearing, they he called it a prosthesis, right? Uh, just so they would they wouldn't get their hands on the Iron Man weapon, uh, which I thought was kind of weird, and I like that they justified it in the sense that. Um, he was going through PTSD from the first Avengers movie and mm -hmm. you, he was confronted by a grieving mother uh, whose son died in uh, Age of Ultron in Sokovia. Well, actually, you didn't know that until this movie. But yeah. they, they, basically what they did was they set it up. So you see the first Avengers and then like what he had to go through. Mm -hmm. And then the second Avengers, he's dealing with it. Right. And then in, in this one, after he finds out all the aftermath, that's when he starts to move towards... He's already beginning to move towards that by the mm -hmm. second movie. And yeah. in this one, he's like made up his mind once he meets the grieving mother. Exactly. Right. And I, I think the thing that I think his biggest driver was was um with pepper because he made this promise to pepper after right. his last iron man movie mm -hmm. um saying that you know and he blew up all his iron man suits that he was going to be less involved with the whole thing and right. you know, he was going to you know kind of to retire yeah, not he's retire, iron but, man really. yeah <laughs> right yeah. but he, he even said, said that he even right. said that he was like no I, I he just loves doing it but That's he said it. he was going to scale back and then mm -hmm. when he didn't scale back and pepper hit the bricks mm -hmm. That I think that for me was his big that broke motivator. Yeah. yeah, that that more than I think that more than than the the grieving mom. I think that him losing his his life and himself and 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 Pepper mm -hmm. sort of drove him to say yes to this thing that he didn't want to say, that he wouldn't say yes to just because it meant that. You know, all superheroes everywhere would be, you know, like, they would be in some sort of, of database or something. And then, right. you know, they would get to call up on all of these people and would have all these other resources where he wouldn't necessarily have to be involved all the time. And that might get Pepper back. Right. Um, in his life. So yeah, I think that was that his... That wasn't discussed at all in the movie. The, 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 I, I hear what you're saying. It was, saying, it was at, say at the, the, um, during the speech at MIT, they did mention Pepper Potts, and then he even says it again when he's uh, talking, talking to, to Cap. To Cap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and speaking to Cap, uh, on the flip side to that, Cap, he was t he's totally against um, this the Sokovia Accords, uh, not because he doesn't feel... Uh, or it doesn't care about the collateral damage. Uh, it is he feels that the blame is being passed on to someone else, and along with that is his distrust of a, that the governing body uh, after the events of Winter Soldier. Um, you right, know, you saw with like yeah. I think that whole that whole movie in itself, sort of or not not even that, but but when Nick Fury um, starts sending out those three helicarriers and mm -hmm. that whole speech about. You know, we're going to prevent crimes instead of yeah. stop, you know, stopping people from doing bad things. I think that was this whole 
his his big deal was that. that yeah, it, he it was all about yeah. freedom, and you know, this isn't fr- this isn't freedom. This is fear. Right. Uh, that the the crime goes after the uh, or the punishment goes after the crime, not before it. Right. And um, it, it just he's afraid that uh, they're gonna be sent somewhere that they don't want to go to. Or they won't be allowed to be involved in something that they feel like they need to be involved with. Right, with and I mean Captain America and and these superheroes they stand up for injustice and the politics of mm-hmm. the world and what would happen to them if they sign this accord and and I guess you know in that sort of real world sense where. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take them, you know, six months to decide if to do something about a certain and problem. And by that like time, the problem's or, probably gotten ten times worse. And or yeah, or it's it's fizzled out in that you know millions of people have already died, or mm-hmm. however it is. I think he was just really, really afraid of, you know, that the bogging down. Right. And right. Them all not the red being tape able, and yeah. all that other nonsense. Yeah. And no, not, he did mention it though. though. So he was afraid that. Action would take too long if they had to wait for the governments to decide. Mm-hmm. But then also, I think he mentioned also he was afraid that, you know, each, you know, you have all these governments. And mm-hmm. so each one's going to have their own agenda. And so agenda's eventually, change. yeah, agendas change. And then eventually they maybe start doing things. Maybe like, why are we doing this? You know, maybe they're doing things for the wrong reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then you have this going on between the two. And in the background, you have this new character by the name of Helmut Zemo. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was, he was the ring, the... He he was the, the 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 what is it the napalm or the the gasoline on the fire right and fire yeah. yeah exactly and basically uh, he's so he, he messed things up uh, yes royally <laughs> so uh, ba- if you're not familiar with Helmut Zemo he's a character from the comic books uh, his name is Baron Zemo in the comic books but other than just the name that's the only relation so are all these other guys not characters from the comic books? well they're all from the comic books but uh, what I'm saying is he's the o- that by name is the only connection they have uh, between the comics and the movie um one, he's not a Hydra agent, according in the movie. Uh, or in the books. The in the books, books he's like one of the, one, some head honcho with Hydra. Uh, You'll two, always know a head honcho in Hydra when, they, when there's a Baron in front of their name. Right. Uh, yeah, like Baron Strucker, <laughs> who was... was why, they, why is everyone a Baron? Are they all like ex-German angry They're all Germans. Guys? They're all German. Like everyone all from like, Hydra is like an ex-German yeah. angry person. Well, because they're all like... And, like uh, they're descendants they're, of um, other Nazis and yeah. stuff like that. So then I mean, you I have get that. it, but I mean, they're yeah. getting so in they're new all, bad guys all the time. Why is everybody in ex but they have to have a title because hey, Princess Zemo does not pretty far, okay? Yeah, Princess yeah. Zemo doesn't have the same ring to it. Although wait, does Robert was Robert Redford was he a Baron or was he was just like a the bad guy? He no. decided not to take the <laughs> Well see no, because in the was movies he? they lose the whole Baron thing except right, for right. One, there's only one Baron. That's true. Yeah, so um, No, what about the guy with the uh no, he was a some sort of doctor, I don't think he was a baron. No, Never mind. He wasn't a baron. No, he was just a, a, a lowly uh, he was a lackey. Yeah, so yeah, so then you have uh Baron Zemo or Helmet Zemo, rather. Uh, uh, oh, so he doesn't wear a pink mask on his face. Or a helmet. Or a helmet. Uh, his name is Helmet, but that's besides the point. <laughs> so his whole motivation is uh, his family died as a result of what happened in Age of Ultron. Sokovia fell apart and debris killed a ton of people. Yeah, um, but you don't find that out till later on in the movie, which is explains you don't. why he's doing You, do, you always see him listening to a voicemail. You don't know who that voice was. I mean, you kind of gather... No, there yeah. was a scene where the, yeah, he's hearing a voicemail, and then right. that's where you gather that that's probably why he, he's doing all this, because he probably lost his family. But it's yeah. later on in the movie that you find out the truth. Yeah, and then you don't know how big his plot or yeah, his, you don't know his, his, his scheme, the, the scheme uh, and it's one of the biggest twists towards the end of the movie and uh, it, the payoff was amazing in my opinion um so his but him as a character i mean i thought he he was like i said he was that gas on the fire like right and he, not only that but he wasn't he like bucky under the bus to sort of <laughs> like hit and the wedge it up. Yeah, and backed it up and then yeah then dropped another bus on top of that one true. so yeah so basically what he did was he blamed a bombing at the UN during the signing of the Sokovia Accords uh, they blamed it on uh, Bucky he dressed up like Bucky and um, carried on with the bombing so now you have everybody hunting Bucky except for or even Cap but and he's, but he's tr- trying to save he's him. trying to save him and that further causes the wedge to uh, or the split uh, in uh, between Iron Man and, and Cap. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I think they made it 
sort of the movie was really multifaceted, especially with him in it, and mm -hmm. like trying to figure out what the bad guy in the movie was. Was it yeah. this guy? Was it the a course where they wanted to, right. to split these superheroes mm -hmm. um, and and you know put them in in this thing yeah. in a box? Is it you know what exactly is the real bad guy? In the yeah, movie, well, so. it, I, it's obviously the if by the end of the movie you know who the clear cut bad guy is um, because. Uh, if you're either Team Cap or Team Iron Man, it, it, you, can, you have the feeling that, well, Iron Man isn't technically wrong, but at the same time, Cap isn't technically wrong either. So it's kind of, I was kind of torn uh, at, during certain parts of the movie, but uh, I liked Zemo as a villain because he was the only one that was kind of, like, besides Loki, he was the only uh, uh, believable bad guy. Because you have Ultron throwing an army of robots and with, like, a shaky kind of motivation and then you had all the other, some of the other one other movies uh they were kind of flimsy villains but Zemo was the only one that I thought was more of a like a concrete or believable bad guy like he had a legitimate reason to hate so and so not because we need to move the plot forward Right, true, yeah. but I mean, mm. same. I don't think like, the other villains think, like, are there just to move the plot. Well, forward. for right. Age of Ultron, he's going off the programming from Tony Stark, so that's why he did what he did because right. he was following that. So, but as far as like believable characters, I mean, it's comic books. Come on, yeah. So yeah, but uh, still, <laughs> even as a comic book movie, it was still. I like, think he was the it was the right person to move right the story the right way to move the story along yeah he right was, he was the good he was the, the good bad guy for that yeah but um and you can even sympathize with them at certain like during certain parts i of mean it. i don't feel that i did you yeah. feel sympathy like well, for the like, he was, well you like, felt but, bad about what happened to his family right um but you know it you know for something like that like for him to go off and blow up things and stuff yeah, yeah that, no, that it, was uncalled for yeah i was, mean it was good i, I like he that. was a legit bad guy but yeah you, you could see the reason right but I, I like that it wasn't he didn't you're right it was a more realistic something in that he didn't have an overarching i want to take over the world like right, yeah. right. Every, like every superhero bad guy you feel mm -hmm. wants to do so yeah it, it was a it was a good yeah way to move the story along yeah exactly so then, uh, speaking of uh, new other newer characters, we have Black Panther and Spider Man has been also added. I think I mean I guess we'll go into Black Panther first because yeah. I think they yeah. um, Chadwick Boseman did a really good he job. He did an amazing job as and, um, as Black Panther. Yeah, and I like that they kind of justified him being there. It wasn't like, hey, no, here's a new character and a new toy to sell. No, <laughs> <laughs> they did give him a bit of a story they, without they did, like and, and, selling out the. It was they give you a taste of him enough to mm -hmm. want to, to see more to of see him. more of him in mm -hmm. the Black Panther movie. Right. Uh, that's coming out soon. So <laughs> yeah. um but yeah, no, they did a really good job in terms of not stretching out or belaboring the point of mm -hmm. what he is or where he came from and, and all of those things. Yeah. Just you know, they touch on it enough so that you care about his character and right. you feel why he's doing what he's doing and needs to be there as opposed to you know just like making a quick cameo and this and the other right. um yeah so then um you have him and i like the way that they the, his, the way his suit looked and his movements I and thought the suit was okay i, I thought really, it was amazing man. i thought I, I just too, like all the yeah. weaving like there was a lot yeah. of detail yeah, in there it, was a lot of it wasn't like a suit. dude in black spandex yeah, exactly right, yeah, no, i and, get that but I, like, I just i don't know i didn't i liked, like, it. I liked it i wasn't maybe feeling it more than I could, um, I guess, because a lot of, like I said, like a lot of the Marvel stuff, you know, their their movies happen in all times of day. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of his stuff in the suit was in daytime, and you didn't really get the full. I didn't really get the full, like, effect that you get from the comic books where mm -hmm. it's like legit black and you get to see the detail with the full black it was just well in, in the comic books he was mostly a dude in black spandex and then they right. added they added the uh, the fact that he, he had, had vibranium he had, well no that uh, the, <laughs> he didn't have it in the movie he, did, he didn't have well he had in the, in the comic books he had like this weird like popped so, collar sometimes he had like, like the feather collar yeah that. so that, but I, I thought they did a really good job with the with the outfit and his the way he moved and like whenever he landed he didn't really make a sound and yeah, that was yeah that was I, cool. I thought that was really cool, cool detail, and yeah. um they didn't get into why he could run as fast as cap but uh, obviously they're leaving that for his own movie right. and i like the fact that they, but didn't they did show that he was like a really good 
they showed him fighting and, yeah. and, and being a badass before some of the more unbelievable parts of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, it, it's they handled him really well, and I, I was really happy, and I actually am excited for the Black Panther. I li- and I like that he had, like, an African accent as opposed yes. to just like, yeah. hey, what's up, guys? I'm <laughs> yeah. Black Panther. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, the other character, we have Spider-Man, and... I think they what this one. Mar- I feel Mar- this Marvel, one was the grab. Yeah, this Marvel. Was the grab. <laughs> Marvel did more in twenty minutes with this cat with the, with this Spider Man than Sony was able to do for God How many knows movies. Did they it's make? been this, uh, five movies. They made five movies. It's five or six. It's been five movies. You had Sony. You had three Tobys and three. Th- no, three Tobys and, and two, two Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have the, Marvel did more in. 20 minutes with, uh, or, or... So, here's the thing. This is what I think about I, I'm, So, I feel like they threw Spider-Man in the movie. Right. But... This is the guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they just threw him in there, and then, really quick, they told this story. So, yeah. it's like, but, Aunt May... Okay, well, the best part is Aunt May is yes. Marissa Tomei. So, I thought oh that was pretty God, cool. Oh, my God, yes. So. I, oh, but, like, they explained it, like, really quick. So, you have, um... You have Spider-Man, mm-hmm. you have Aunt May... And she's younger than what she is in the comic books. And, like, Tony Stark hitting on her. Mm-hmm. But, no, I think, like, they did it really fast. And it was... Everyone accepted it. Because, come on. Five movies. We know his backstory. Yeah, no one yeah. did so, labor the fact that yeah, Uncle Ben died. Exactly. Blah, blah, they didn't blah, blah, even blah, blah, mention blah, Uncle Ben. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, it just wasn't, like, he was... Uh, there to kind of help the little guy, and that that's all the justification you really needed, to tell the truth. And then, well, and, at that and his you know, personality, like yes, the, the actor they got to play him, perfect. his personality and all that, it worked well. It and worked and, really and the, the the thing is, like, he's supposed to be young in the comic books. He's supposed yeah. to be young. He's supposed to be in high school. You don't have like this dude with like a like like Tobey Maguire. He didn't like. I didn't believe him as a teenager for a second. <laughs> a little long. Andrew Garfield was what late twenties or something, I'm, I'm, early thirties. By the way, I but, just, they did do a decent, I mean, they did say, hey, we need to make these teams, and or, yeah. not, not we need to make these teams, sorry. They did say, hey, if we're going to fight other yeah. superheroes, we're going to need more they help. Go on and a then they go yeah. spree. It was like, you know, that like the, the, the NBA draft or something, and all exactly. of a sudden everybody goes recruiting. So. Yeah, and they start seeing <laughs> flash of different cities uh, that they go to. But um, he was, I mean, he was kind of a pull. Um, yeah. But they did a really yeah. The, the, I, the I like the, really the well. eyes. Yeah, and I like that they justified the it because like oh like um, they mentioned that uh, ever since he got his powers, he had way too much like a sensory overload. Focusing. He, oh, yeah, he had trouble focusing. Uh, so he had these like little like welder's goggles, and they showed his his original costume. They had like these welder's goggles for him to focus, and Tony. Uh, oh, built, the upgraded suit. the gave suit. Him suit. <laughs> gave, him, gave him a suit. Gave him his own and Iron Man suit. Yeah, so it wasn't like he wasn't like had the shutter eyes just because they look cool. They gave it a reason for it being there. Uh, and um, and the, yeah, the sarcasm and, and everything. The sarcasm, really and I like how he was fanboying over everybody and like the the banter he had like during the fight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They even said how he talks too much. Like, he, there's no, there's normally not this much talking during fights. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, so he was, was the closest thing to Deadpool in this movie that we could have gotten I think. yeah yeah exactly and it wasn't he wasn't mm-hmm. cheesy like if he was cheesy it was intentional but uh, oh and um, the um, the Empire Strikes Back reference that right, they yeah, had that, that was yeah that, that was, was awesome. amazing they, uh, yeah. but it actually like I if he didn't make a cameo in this movie I pre- I'm pretty sure I probably would not Unless they came out with some super epic trailer, <laughs> yeah, I probably would not have watched another goddamn Spider-Man. No, movie because, because of this, I'm excited for the next Spider-Man yeah. movie. I really am. They really, they've the, done a really yeah, bad. Yeah, because uh, uh, like the whole the Sony handling stuff, I, I wasn't too excited after. Was it uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two? Yeah, yeah, but this one, I'm I'm excited to see well, Spider-Man again. Side note: They did say that Iron Man was gonna be in, in the next the uh, next Spider-Man in a similar sort of time. Yeah, like a same kind of probably the same twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man was in this. Spider Man so. Homecoming. But yeah. um, they Wait, also they they um they did a really good job I think in in how Spider Man sort of I liked how he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. just like sort of popped on screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey. Yeah. What's up? Hey everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, uh, I liked how he was like interacting with Cap. 
True. Yeah, and, and uh, they but they did that in the similar in a similar way mm-hmm. with uh, Paul Rudd and Ant Man. Yes, a holy crap! I didn't think that you know like Paul, you know, he came in and he was fanboying. I was like, oh my god, it's Captain yeah, it's like, oh, well, you're awesome too, and he's like pointing at <laughs> Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah, no, it, it was awesome, and like the surprises that they had. Uh, with, I like well with Ant Man yeah. specifically. I like with when the with the giant man the giant thing. man part. It would I no, think it would have been more epic think. if. If you didn't, if you don't follow like the toys and you didn't yeah. see the Funko that they were already selling at Giant yeah. Man, like I feel for you that would have been like even a bigger yeah deal because you're like and, oh shit you know, yeah and, oh Man. and when um uh, when Hawkeye shot him through with, with an arrow oh yeah uh, and like he flew through <laughs> Iron Man's uh, fingers and he ran up his arm and then like got into the suit and it's like oh this is your conscious speaking we haven't spoken in a while <laughs> and, like messing yeah. like, oh, with God. the suit yeah, and stuff was, yeah it's, yeah like, so you know, both. Spider Man and Ant Man were the comedic relief in the movie, and it, it worked so it, well. Like yeah, they, it, it just take flowed. Away. Right, and the, 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 like you, it, they, you needed kind of a break from all the seriousness and the from, sadness and the sadness yeah. and stuff like that. And, and Tony was a little depressing. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Real. He was. Usually, he's the levity of the movie, but no, he was really bumming people out in this one. Well, he was super serious in this. Movie yeah, he because was. Of everything that's happened to him. Right. So, yeah. But what I really loved, I mean, they did I, justice. To all the characters, it wasn't right. just like character porn mm-hmm. or um, <laughs> Mortal Kombat Two. Yeah. Have anyone's ever seen that where they're just like, "Hey, <laughs> let's throw every character we have in here and see what happens." Exactly. Yeah, so, just to fill up the credits. Which yeah. makes me feel really good about when they're gonna do Thanos and that and whole Infinity War. Infinity yeah, War yeah, it's the same so, people doing the same writers, exactly. and directors. Yeah. So I just I love that each character like Vision got mm-hmm. you know he it wasn't like. He was just there for 30 seconds and just because yeah. he was in the movie. Vision in a sweater. Right. That was, <laughs> oh my that was, God. Like, yeah. Vision was shopping at J. Crew or something because yeah. he, he had like the sweater the vest. And, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. and I like how they were kind of planting the seed for some kind of relationship between Scarlet Witch and Vision. Like they had their little banter and their right. little uh, um, uh, interactions at, at, at home. Were they a thing in the comic book? I thought it was No, they were, they're like full on together and. In the, in the comic book. For some reason, I thought it was her and in, 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 um, Cumberbatch and Doctor Strange. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Uh, no. Uh, no it's my, it's Vision. My it's my Vision, <laughs> Vision and uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, full dreaming on you're, like, yeah, you're like cock Vision before. My, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah. but Scar- and Scarlet Witch, like, she was also... They gave her more to do than right. they did in uh, Ultron. It wasn't... And, and you know, like, um, I'm going to say in, in some of the superhero movies of the past, like I said, with Mortal Kombat and even X-Men, mm-hmm. um... Like Halle Berry was an X Men for seven minutes in all four movies. <laughs> like, it, but she didn't really have a reason to be there other than to be there. But with mm-hmm. these characters, I think everybody got yeah. even like War Machine, um, mm-hmm. who's not really been featured in any, even in the Iron Man movies, right. he wasn't like a big feature. Yeah, um, yeah, was in here and 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 actually moving things along and and you feel things mm-hmm. from him, so. Yeah, and I like the fact that also. Uh, even though they were, uh, the two teams are against each other, uh, you you can tell that they were pulling punches because I mean they're still friends. <laughs> they're still fr- they're still friends during this whole thing, and they're it's just like a family spat basically. Yeah. Right. Uh, and they're trying to stop each other, not to try to kill each other. I know. I remember reading a couple reviews. Uh, people were complaining that uh, they were going too easy on each other. I'm like, dude, they're well, not trying. Yeah, to, they're, they're, friends, they're friends. They're, they're just like on friends. opposite sides. They're, 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 they're just trying to capture. They're, each they're other. trying to yeah. capture. To not try to kill each other, so um, not nobody really dies with the exception of crossbones mm-hmm. in the beginning. Okay, Pharrell, yeah. I get you. Yeah, so. <laughs> but um, what were your what was your favorite part? The favorite, the one favorite part of the, the movie. The one favorite part of the movie. I mean, there's so many in there, but the one, the one I think was. The last fight when right after uh, Tony finds out that Cap knew about uh, his parents, Tony's parents dying at the hands of Winter Soldier, major spoiler. Uh, but that that whole fight and how like visceral it got, and that was the only time where I honestly thought that Cap was gonna put Tony in a coma or just like beat his ass, like, not, not kill him, I, obviously. I didn't even think it was Cap. I think it was more, I thought Bucky was going to kill Captain America at one point. Oh, did you? Yeah, what? when he, when he, like, yeah. grabbed, like, he kali mod him with oh, the uh, Indiana Jones reference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, oh, he's going to yeah, kali mod uh, yeah. Tony, yeah. Yeah, no, the, I thought, uh, at one point, I thought Tony 
was going to wind up in the hospital yeah. uh, and uh, at several points during that fight. Uh, and um, I knew they weren't going to kill off Bucky, but they that blast at the end, I thought, was... Uh, yeah, the end was, got pretty intense. Yeah, it it got really intense. You didn't really know how they were going to do it. Right. It, it was kind of a Bucky movie, though. Like, he was... Yeah, he was... He was, he was like, in it. He was, yeah. he was all... He was, like, he was the catalyst for he a lot of He was more in happening. Winter Soldier than he was... He was more in, in this, this than he was in Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was, like, yeah. all Bucky all the time. Yeah, was that's... Was everything America, America, or was this a Winter Soldier? It was the Bucky Bucky movie, I think this was Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah. What about you? What did you thought was their favorite part? Um, My favorite part, I guess... I'm, I like it for like the comedy and the comedic moments. So for me, it was when Ant Man went into Iron Man suit and he <laughs> popped off with a "Are you my conscience?" Like I legitimately yeah. felt bad for the people like next to me, not just you guys, but like around because I was laughing so hard at that because between like the Jiminy Cricket. And the Dory from Finding Nemo, like it was the like, vision part. The vision was like, he's going through me. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> or no, was, this guy's inside of me. Paul, or yeah, like that. Paul Rudd and his his comedic relief for me was yeah. my favorite part of this entire movie. Yeah, it was what about so, you, Johan? It has to be the airport scene because there were a lot of good th- things there. But the one that it's just one scene that that stood out to me, and it's when Spider Man. Uh, shoots, I think it was Falcon. He goes, he had the right to ma- remain silent. <laughs> I-, I just thought that was just really funny. Yeah. So, like, that that whole entire scene there had so many great moments. Yeah. It really was, yeah. yeah. And it was a good, like, it was a good fight. Like, it wasn't, like, mm-hmm. a two-minute, No, this was, like, like, full 20 minutes at least. Yeah, it was a legit, like, fight with with everyone and like I, like we said before everyone was getting their their Equal. just dues and, and, and their equal screen that time, but scene it was, was to a good like fight. showcase their power so that's basically yeah. what it was but it was pretty awesome so like when that scene first started though I was a little disappointed because it, it, it you know you have team Iron Man team Captain America and they're walking up and it's like it's only a few of them it's like what the heck but then when they start fighting you're like yeah they need that area because they were like just all over the place so right. it's pretty cool I mean right. it might be a few of them but they all have goddamn superpowers so yeah. you're gonna need a little bit yeah, of you've like, got the heavy space. hitters and stuff like that and uh, Thor and um, Hulk weren't in the movie but they're supposed to this be this wasn't in... an event like a, a, a Avengers movie yeah no it would have been an Avengers movie had it, it there. probably was an Avengers movie yeah uh, uh, I, I felt like it was an Avengers yeah, movie yeah, really do. Yeah. yeah, but I like that. The, the, I mean, they focused a lot on Cap and Bucky's whole thing, so that's how I guess they could was, justify yeah, that yeah. as uh, um, Cap America three. Uh, but yeah, it, it's overall it was. Well, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Before you overall, yeah, there's always bad with the good. So that's what was, true. What was the bad? What didn't you like? Uh, let me think. One of the things that you know what? It's such a minor thing, but I didn't like. Though the words like they're, they're this, in is a, this is a fanboys I yeah. don't like. Yeah, it's like I didn't like the color red that they use yeah. in the suit. No, like the, the <laughs> because we saw it on IMAX 3D, and uh, though actually now that I think about it, there's two things I didn't like about it. First of all, was the words the, the words that they kept popping up. Uh, and like uh, where they kept saying Queens or 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 Vienna or you know the different cities uh, like that seemed cities. very jarring because like one the the. It, it bothered my eyes because it was way too <laughs> oh white. God. It was way. It That's was so it, random. It, 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 well, I it, told you it has color sensitive red. eyes. I have color red eyes. They're, they're big. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there was that, and the other thing that was uh, throwing me off was the fight scene with Black Widow in the beginning. Uh, the camera moved entirely too much. Uh, in my opinion, on IMAX 3D, because I went back and I saw it on non 3D on a regular screen, and it didn't bother me nowhere near as much as it did when I saw it on IMAX. Okay, before can we just talk about the fight scene? Like, oh, the, whoever the fight the, choreographer is, it's supposed to be the dude from uh, the guy that did John Wick, right? John Wick, the, the, yeah. the team that did John Wick, and they did an amazing job. Like it was bad. I'm yeah, like, and, yeah. Like, it felt like the combat, like especially Black Panther, right? Um, between Black Panther and and probably Scarlet Witch, where I guess the more hand to hand guys, mm-hmm. yeah, it was. I thought it was amazing. all the like yeah. all the fight scenes really. I mean, if you the, haven't seen John Wick, go see. By the way, yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, even though the Black Widow fight in the beginning was very jarring with the camera movements, it still looked amazing, and it it, it was uh, an awesome sequence. And uh, that uh, part where uh, Scarlet Witch throws a cap through the window and stuff like that, and he takes out a bunch of guys in there. That all of that was amazing. But as far as complaints go, 
Uh, I just have like, two <laughs> the <words>. words. Just <laughs> the, the, the words. The, the words are the, bad. The words are the words are bad, and the, the camera movements in the very first he, fight. Hey, scene. remember you mentioned red color? He said it was too white. It's true. It was too, it's true. It was too white. It was yeah. too white. What about because you, Johan? It took up like eighty percent of the screen, and then it was like, whoa, okay. Okay. That was me. We apologize for those of you who also had a problem with words. With words. Yeah. (laughs) I couldn't couldn't handle the words. There was too much words. You should probably go to that Derek Zoolander school for kids who can't read. I could read the words good. Um, What about you, Yo? Me, personally, uh, to be honest, I I didn't really find anything wrong with the movie. There's nothing I can complain about it. My only thing was... No, no not words. They were jarring. No colors. It was jarring. Um, the, the only issue that I had was because, um, you know, I normally wear glasses, and I had to wear the, the 3D glasses. That was just bothering. So that was my only complaint. Mm, that the, the watching. nothing yeah, to do so with the movie. Yeah, so it has nothing to do with the movie, which is what I said. The movie itself was good. That's his own personal so, film. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as the movie goes, I, I really don't have any complaints, because I liked how there was the character development. The, how the scenes were shot, how there was a couple twists at the end of the movie, yeah. and then, so I have no complaints. Um, the only complaint I did mention, though, was just the airport scene, where it looked like it was just a few of them fighting, but then, like, when that scene broke out, it made up for it. So, yeah. that was the only thing. Yeah, I hear you. Mm-hmm. And you? Me, personally, I, I kind of had a bit of an, it's like, Falcon, to me, in the, like, his, his, part in the movie, I don't want to say it seemed forced, but I don't know if I didn't like his delivery, but if I had to pick... Nitpick? If I had to nitpick and really think about something that I didn't like, and I like Anthony Mackie, but um, for some reason, like, in this movie, he just, it felt... His lines seemed really robotic, or his dialogue seemed really robotic to me. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean... I don't think it, I don't see anything... But I do like uh, that oh, they that, added new uh, features to Falcon. That's true. That, that he had a drone, Red Wing. I loved his wings. Uh, and, how he would use it as a shield. Yeah, and that like, too. Yeah, he that actually, yeah. Awesome. And he, 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 like I said, they, they, they moved his out. character along, and then now he's got like stuff other than I can fly. Yeah, yeah. and I uh, like that conversation in the or that little exchange when they were in the in the in the in Beetle the in the when they were in the <laughs> Beetle. Uh, they're in this tiny ass car, and you have um, a Falcon in the front seat. And uh, Bucky in the back is like, can you move your seat? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the other good thing about these Marvel movies is that they're not all, they're not super dark. You've got, mm-hmm. like, things that make you think. You've got action things that happen. You've got... Stuff with consequences. Th- yeah, yeah, right. You have all of those things, but it's not all said at nighttime in, like, the world. <laughs> like, I hate being myself. It's all sort of, it all comes together. There's mm-hmm. moments of comedy, which... I mean, I love comedy movies and I love action movies, mm-hmm. so Marvel movies to me are amazing because it's yeah. like it's a great combination of both. And, and it seems more or more kind of uh, organic because who the hell's gonna be depressed twenty four seven? I'm pretty sure even Superman probably would split his slit his wrist <laughs> if he got that depressed as they showed in the movie. But then we're going off topic here. So then, uh, overall, so what yeah, do you guys no. think? Overall, it was it was pretty. Pretty great. I like. I think it's probably my favorite. That was gonna be my next question. Um, of all, the, I think of all the movies so far, um, Avengers is up there too. Mm-hmm. I guess I would have to pick between Avengers and this one to see which one is my favorite so far. Uh-huh. Um, I enjoy them all equally. To be honest, I can't really say that There's one no stands out more than the other. <laughs> uh, I have to say them. Avengers because I think to me that like brought it all together. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially like the the best for me the best part of Avengers was the Hulk smashing Loki so yeah. that's always going to stand out for that's, me yeah, I think yeah that's one of those like comic book movie golden moments of all time yeah so yeah I would I would say this uh, Civil War is the, the top but I would say probably like a close second would probably be yeah Avengers would be uh, the first Avengers be um, a close second as which far is as, I mean I think it's I, everyone thought. I guess Winter Soldier was the best one. It was up until to this point, but I think, <laughs> yeah. and then this one blew it out of the water. It's true, yeah, so. but it's it, funny. Like when you're thinking of all the Marvel movies that you love, mm-hmm. um, how Avengers just because it was like the first one of its kind and the mm-hmm. one that it was done really well. It wasn't perfect, yeah. obviously, but it was done really well. So I think mm-hmm. that's why it's usually second on the list now, even though. 
before this yeah, came out, Captain Winter, America. It was definitely Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier prior to that. One, yeah. I mean, th that's not the takeaway from Winter Soldier. I mean, right. It's still an amazing movie. It's just that Civil War was so good that um, I'm gonna have to see it like ten more times in the theater, <laughs> twenty more times. He's already. I mean, uh, of the seven hundred million worldwide. <laughs> He's I'm, he's probably put in at least five percent. Yeah, probably. <laughs> at least. Yeah, I'm actually. Out of his own money. I'm seeing it tomorrow. He's actually probably seeing it as soon as we leave here now. I so. probably will. Yeah. 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 With the way they're moving with the movies, though, I, I really can't wait for the next movies that are yeah, coming out. I, I, the I, solo I, movies mm -hmm. and then like the Infinity Wars. That's yes. the one I'm really looking forward to. Right. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for that. So yeah. it's in, in the MCU, the next one is Doctor so Strange? Doctor Strange. Yeah. And, and then, then uh, Guardians. Guardians. Gotcha. And then after that is Thor. Okay. Followed by the first Infinity War. Gotcha. Fine. Yeah. And then I don't know what's after that. But that's... I, I'm excited for all of those movies because a dark... Like, like the Thor movies weren't, are kind of low on the list for just about everybody, but I, I still... Well, like they do them. have, what, three Infinity Stones to find or two? Two. They have two, two left. left. They have right. the Time one and the Soul Gem. Time Gem and Soul Gem. So uh, I assume they're going to get... One from Doctor Strange. Uh, they would have to. I'm pretty sure. And then the and next then... one would have to be uh, during Thor. You think uh, so? Yeah, I'm Not pretty Guardians? sure. Not Guardians? No. We'll see what I'm happens. I'm thinking Thor. Okay. I'm thinking, yeah, because... My money's on Guardians. Because of Ragnarok, this would be the end of everything. So I'm assuming that's where the fifth one pops up. Huh. Uh, or well, sixth one. I guess six or five. It's <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 The sixth stone <laughs> isn't going to pop up. Not uh, that I'm a huge Thanos fan or everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, talking about fanboying. <laughs> but anyway, so that brings it to an end. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, comment below to see what you thought of the movie. And on that note, we're out of here.